Meow. Great, wonderful. Hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, I don't know. Very loosely planning today. We're going to be in Photoshop fixing our images. Uh, for some reason, I didn't want to be inside my coffee cup. We're boiling water, uh, and we will uh, get started soon. Hello, Greg. Hello, Cursed. Um, well, what do we even do? We are going to disappear the mug. Bye. Is there a way to ceremoniously like toss it into the sea? I guess not. I wonder if I can, huh? Like if I, we're just playing around right now. <laughs> really little. There we go. Oh, and it mirrored me. I can't remember if it's mirrored or if. I wonder, is there a way to tell? I think that's mirrored. We would, to flip it, we would do that. And this is normal. Hard to tell. I can't. I mean, I know, I know it's normal. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> off to a strong start here um uh, yeah i don't know it's been a while it's been like nine days since i've done a uh, coffee show and uh we're opening photoshop we'll be doing stuff shortly just wanted to uh i don't know say hello say i'm thankful for your viewership Hanging out on this wonderful, like, bluff, maybe. I don't know what this is. A cliffside. Many birds outside right now. Do it. Show it to me. Why aren't you showing it to me? <laughs> don't know what's happening there's a guy in my we're just talking apparently um there's a guy in my apartment complex who every morning takes a giant cup of uh like bird food uh bird seed and tosses it out of his third story window under our courtyard so we always have like dozens of pigeons rolling around uh i don't know why it's not showing you the thing there we go great we're in folks we're in okay it's time to get down to business <laughs> Salt. yeah uh oh we can make coffee now i'm sure i'm sure our water is ready Dump my water. <laughs> I think I've like forgotten how to do this. Just like stream. Um, just took a week off. Yeah, everyone should congratulate Greg for uh, defeating uh, Donald Trump in the presidential election. Thank you, Greg. The presidency ages you. I hope you're ready for that. It's very, I don't know. That's a job that makes whoever does it look like shit. So good luck. <laughs> We're blooming. 
having our coffee. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. Uh, everyone should thank Greg for being elected to take out the trash. I got my facts wrong. Sorry. How are we doing this morning? How are y'all? I'm feeling okay. Well, one reason I'm um, feeling good is that uh, it's like maybe 70 degrees here uh, in November, which is just uh, unheard of. Uh, I just, it's extremely good luck, I think, to get a 70 degree November in Chicago. So that's cool. got my windows open just in my like four years being here i've never seen this in november it makes a big difference to me in my brain um happy to hear that you're vibing i'm vibing too i'm waking up we'll get started soon we're gonna uh develop a ranking system for this image and then if we get stuck or bored we're going to go back to the pastry file and finish that kind of silly that we don't have it finished i've decided i don't know this is a silly show we can be silly here i've always i only know that from the hit movie dumb and dumber the salt luck uh dynamic (laughs) So, which that movie was a documentary, so I'm sure it's real. Is that friend over standing directly behind me? Oh, I can't read. I'm sorry. I'm doing a bad job this morning. Um, But we are now entering Photoshop. We're going to resize it so that you can see this beautiful... uh, Vista. I think that's good. Okay. Okay. We've successfully made a cup of coffee, which is great. Off to a strong start today. Um... I kind of like that my blue screen's up behind me. I don't feel like fixing it. Um, which landform is most edible? Which pastry would you mind, would you most likely easily live on? Um, I don't know. I, I skateboard on top of an eclair to work every day. Uh, could munch on a peninsula. I was going to say, I was kind of worried. Um, <laughs> I, I'm your editor, Michael. All right. We're getting to it. There are two different ways I see us doing this. Um, we could start by just dragging the one, like ones we think are too high and too low, we can just start moving around or we could develop some sort of system uh what's up no usually i have one extra coffee mug to place my fill my filter cone on i don't know how to do this here got someone knocking on my door i'll be right back Uh, there's a guy going to enter my apartment right now to take out my AC. Give me one second.
I'm back. Terribly sorry for that. No, I'm not. Why aren't you turning on? There we go. Okay. That was a mess. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad he did that, I guess. Okay. We will now do the thing we said we would do. I... Yeah, just have very few thoughts in my brain right now, actually. Then which one was Photoshop? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. A great, great analysis, grocery guy. I have a completely unwrinkled brain. It's a perfect sphere inside my head. Thank you, Jeremy. All right, JR might be the most famous person to stop by the stream. I can't think of a bigger celebrity to stop by, honestly. Okay, I wanted to workshop some kind of system with you, but I just don't have one in my head. Like, I guess the easiest way to start would be, I mean, we, we have put a little bit of effort into putting the dumb ones at the bottom, but there's some down here that I'm sure are great. We're going to have to re like review all of them, but uh, I'm just going to start dragging down the ones that aren't like exceptionally cool. Um, and we will make a top tier from the rest. So we will have an exceptionally cool section and then a not exceptionally cool section. Make sense? <laughs> Off to a strong start here. I'm sure you have your favorites. We will uh, zoom in and argue about them very soon. All right, like right now. So something like, I mean, the, I really liked the complex crater uh, as well as the Carolina Bay. Oh, the Carolina Bay is a very interesting one. Um, I think if they're interesting, they gotta go up. These will uh, not be here. We're not going to use this space up here uh, by the end of it, but uh, what do you think about a cape? A cape is a good uh, example of a sh shape that's like interesting, a landform that has an interesting shape. Uh, but I could see it also being slightly boring just because it's like, I don't know. You are, you got to go. <laughs> I think it's cool. What do you think about a blowout? A blowout is a sand is like the basically like a eroded sand dune. Like the wind like there used to be a sand dune here, but wind just like moved it literally. Um reading the chat. Um, Ayo, that's not true. The terrible process. Um, <laughs> would have been so much better if it was a blowout, just to get it over with. What do you think about a bar? Do you have opinions about a? Uh, there's a couple different kinds. It's short for sand bar. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's more like it, Michael. Like, oh. Excited to drink this coffee. I'm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're bullying you. Um, your political opponents keep sending you Danishes. Uh, 
Yeah, please. Go on. An air is just a pebble beach. I think it's not exceptionally cool. What do you think about a regular beach? Do you think it's so timeless that it uh, transcends its uh, unremarkableness? I think it doesn't. What are these doing down here? I feel like these are cool. I don't know. See, cryovolcano down here? No, we were just getting stuff on here. A cryovolcano is a volcano that spits methane gas. Uh, and they're generally on other planets and shit. It's, it's very cool. I think it's got to go up. An arroyo is like a riverbed. I think it's got to go down. I think a beach cusp has to go down. Does anyone object to any of this? <laughs> I think cliffs are cool. Canyons are cool. A coal, very cool. Can you see this? Is this really tiny for you? I'll make it bigger. Whatever. You like rivers? Oh, yeah, but... We just have to draw a line in the sand because we all like all of these. And if we don't make some decisions, we will never uh, make any progress. A bayou is pretty cool. An aret, aret, I think it's a ret probably. It's French. Hey, it's pretty cool. I see. It's just going to be so hard for me to rank these. I I think, honestly, an 8 is not as cool as the really crazy ones. So I think we're going to pull it down and, like, put Crow Volcano up there. But we're still just – we just have a top and a bottom, and I think this is a structural issue. <laughs> yeah, I keep saying like, I keep trying to push y'all to give me some kind of like differenting of different, like differentiating opinion. Uh, and everyone's just constantly like, yeah, they're all good. We like them all, which makes me want to not rank them. And then people are like, we should rank them. And it's like, I don't know what you want from me. More great songs written about bayous than most other landforms. Yeah, you got to throw that qualifier in there because... Uh, the beach is number one. Most great songs are written about the beach. So, or rolling on a river. I feel like that's a thing that people do in songs. The voting system for landforms gives too much power to smaller users. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I would love for a smaller user to come in here and, and uh, have strong opinions. <laughs> you're a water type yeah I mean water is there's more water than land right that sounds great the Bayou Boys is like Guns and Roses or something uh, the metal band Pantera is from my hometown also my hometown I think is the largest county to vote for Trump both in 2016 and 2020 like the most like densely populated area that uh still like voted Trump uh which is just crazy to think about and I I really tried to figure out if that was true or not I googled it a lot and couldn't find any definitive thing but I'm I'm like pretty sure not good stuff Okay. Greg is 6'2". That sounds like a lie. I think Greg is 5'9". Like, I, I would still... If you told me you were taller than me, I would believe it. Yeah, I don't know what to do with any of this stuff. I kind of want to put them alphabetically. I'm going to keep making... Uh, I'm going to keep following my heart and making my own decisions. And... You're just going to have to live with it. Blowhole, very cool. 
Cliff Canyon. Yeah, yeah. But I think those are all, I think, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create three sections. Just had an idea. We're gonna have the definitely not, uh, we're gonna have an A, B, and C tier for now. Uh, where a lot of these are very cool, but are they as cool as the coolest one? I don't think so. And so we now have three tiers because we have not exceptional, exceptional, and then exceptional among the exceptional. So we have to decide what is exceptional among the except exceptional. I think any landform that people see and think aliens did is pretty cool. And so I think Carolina Bay definitely deserves, uh, at least for now, exceptional status. <laughs> I like that super jazz. That's like, uh, you're like, I don't even know how to say it. Like when boxers like go down a weight class, you know, it's like they they work off a lot of water weight and then they make weight, but they're actually much larger than the weight class. That's what it's like being 5'11 and three quarters or whatever. Point should be taken away if the landform is rare, but not too distinct. Yes, I think so. I think I would agree with that because it's just like obscure and not interesting. Yeah, I would agree. And that's why also why I think, uh, like kind of conversely, uh, a beach, uh, something like that, something that is like a kind of beloved landform, uh, but is just like ubiquitous throughout the world and also not particularly, uh, interesting among other landforms. What if a landform has cheese on it or in it? I'll leave the chat. I'll let the chat, uh, uh, expound on that. <laughs> Nobody liked my tweet. It was a bad tweet. And a lot of stuff is happening right now out there in the world. <laughs> mods. Do we have any mods in the chat? No, have no fear, Cursed. We've got your back. They should rename Greg to Cursing at Synth. What do you think about a confluence? <laughs> Band, reason, anger. A confluence is like a river system. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember it, actually. Uh, let's... I'm like <laughs> stricken with giggling. I like really want to laugh right now and I don't really know why. Um, I'm vibing. I'm having a good time. I'm pulling up the landform list and we're going to look at some now and we're going to make some decisions because I think if we're ever going to finish this, we need to uh, figure out how to move forward. What about this one? Great. Show yourself. Oh man, my stream setup is so messy, like on the software side. It's just a big mess. It's okay, no worry. Oh man. Ah, geez. Then we're gonna go here. We're gonna scroll down to confluence. A meeting or two more bodies of flowing water. Okay, the image we got sucked uh, because the confluence is kind of cool. 
because you can see in some of these images i'll get you on yeah that's a that's a good example where the water just slams into each other and it's like two different colors of water that's so crazy Mornstein. we're hanging out it's funny yeah how is it a landform <laughs> it's all it's all sea Well, it's on the list, and we're going to go by the same rules as we did last time, where uh, if it's on the list, it's getting ranked. We're not here to argue about what is it. This is exactly what you did last time, Greg. Time is a flat circle. I think it's beats here. think it's good where it is of these what immediately deserves to go up i think a caldera is very cool blowhole very cool what do you think about a coral reef how do we feel about coral reef very good Okay. High rating. Does anyone else, does anyone want to uh, argue with this man? Really like a born heart. I don't know. We gotta, we, we've only gotten through like three letters of the alphabet. You have a lot of great memories on confluences. Switch ones. Love a reef. All right, all right. I do love a reef. Just wanted to make sure y'all love the reef. <laughs> this is very admirable of you, Greg. Eventually, you can tell your son's stories about how you used to do confluences. This volcano is full of cryo. An abeam is very cool, also known as a pit cave in America. I'm into it. What do you think about a braided channel? How do you feel about either of these? So an arete is this like really thin kind of like mountain range divider thing no i think I, I tend to agree with you greg but then what do you think about a bayou like does a is a bayou like the ceiling of a braided channel because a bayou is similar to a braided channel what do we think about a bay I think bays and atolls are pretty cool. I think arches are pretty cool. I'm going to take all these, and for now, we're going to push them up. Maybe they come down. I don't know. That's standing, yeah. Which one? The Arete one? Um, yeah. I do like... To Death Strand. The braided channel. Oh. That's cool. I would play that game. I would uh, love to look at the landforms within Death Stranding. That would be a good stream. Damn. I'll think about that. I don't know if my computer can really do it. But. I think a cove is very cool. That's the thing. Okay. So with cove, cave, bay, uh and even stuff like cliff i guess uh do they deserve to be moved to the very top what do you think about an abyssal plane which is just kind of like the bottom of the ocean it's like tons and tons of square footage and it's kind of cool it's cool for where it is i don't know hard to say
I think if we are to look up here at our top tier. Love a cenote. I've, I've got a lot of cave stuff. Um, oh, no. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, the next step of the landform stream is we rename all of them with better names. And so if y'all want to develop some kind of system like that, uh, I would ha I would I would just have to listen to you. Yeah, exactly. That's funny. <laughs> but what about Boulder? Or that are already <laughs> fucked it up. Um Yeah, that's me. I'm sharp and pointy. I'm like Pikachu. Mm, all right. What do you think about crevasses? Benches, compound volcanoes. Are these things not cool to you? Colder. There we go. You got it. We'll submit it to Wikipedia. Hill? Okay. That's the thing, though, is like... This is what happened with Pastry Stream, where there were some that were... like ubiquitous in culture, like some pastries that were all over the place and not complicated, but they were so good and so reliable that I think they had, a, they were at a high tier. So, okay. All I needed to hear was that the bench was meh. Compound Volcano, I also think is very cool. We're going to take it. We'll take it. <laughs> I would love to engage with a DAO. Yeah, I would believe. I think if someone really pressed me on it, uh, I would say I want to be more spiritual. I just have no spiritual anything, kind of. Uh, I feel like a lot of people just uh, put their heads down and grind through their days and... I think I have a habit of doing that. Whereas I, I do have thoughts about things and I'm very interested in many facets of the world. I'm a curious person. I, I don't know. I, I do try to stay curious about the world. I don't even remember what I was talking about, but I think it's probably pretty corny if I was like, all right, I'm going to get into Buddhism now. I think it's, di I don't know. It's probably different to just read about it a lot. Is there, I don't know. Like, what do y'all think about uh, if I just like started reading a lot about Eastern philosophy? Is that inherently just like a corny thing to do? I don't know. I think there's things to learn about, learn from stuff like that. Even if I was, I don't know, just kind of reading about it to read about it. Lots of ways to gain, engage with spirituality and make sure you do it in a healthy way, right? Uh, on Monday, I go to a doctor to talk to the doctor about antidepressants, and it's part of a plan to get uh, to start this clinical trial for uh, ketamine as a uh, antidepressant. Um, and I think if I heard them right, they're just gonna let me take ketamine home. Like they're not. It's not. It's not intravenous treatments like how they usually administer ketamine as depression care therapy uh, i think i might just be carrying them home with me and they're like take this before you go to sleep and i'm like oh, okay that's how they explained it to me so i don't know we'll see lots of question marks but i hope it works out that's a good point stein uh Archipelago. What do you think about Archipelago? I was going to say it's B tier. Of A, B, and C, I think it's pretty B. <laughs> what 
What's up, Kay? Do you have an opinion about Arch Ar Archipelagos? Yeah, yeah. I agree. What do you think about a blowout? A blowout's an interesting one because it's definitely a weird one. Uh, but it's not exceptionally, like, aesthetically cool, you know? It's literally just like a, a pit of slant, sand. Is it arc or arch? Sound off in the chat. Okay, what do you think about a cove? Tell me about a cove. Yeah, yeah, I I agree that our archipelago is is cool, but um, what do you think about a cove? I think a cove, basically every cove is cool. Uh, I think they might be eight tier, even though they are there are a lot of them. I think they're that cool of a thing. I don't know. Generally, coves are cool. What do y'all think? I I could I could back down. Another one is like a butte. Uh, I think buttes are very cool. But there are they are known about. They're not like they're not gonna catch anyone by surprise. Now I'm thinking Kova's beats here. What do you think? Everyone's saying A. What's up, Claire? Um all right. Cove's going A. Have you ever seen the documentary The Cove? It's uh Grizzly. <laughs> Man, I am excited to get outside. It is beautiful today. How are you doing, chat? How is the weather like? Is it warm where you are? Cliffs are another good example of what we were talking about earlier, like beaches where there's just so many of them, it might lose points. I still think cliffs and canyons are very cool. I think, okay, we know a coal is A, right? Like look look at this. You couldn't you couldn't ask for a more interesting shape. We're gonna roll with it. Love to see the chat making friends, being friendly. It's good stuff. That's what we do here. Everyone really hooted and hollered for Badlands last time. Uh, I wanted to revisit it to make sure it's cool enough to actually include in our top tier. Yeah, I mean, they're so cool. I, I did want to revisit the definition because I thought the definition was interesting. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to summon the... Uh, where is it? There we go. And then, what were we saying? Badlands, right? It's a type of dry terrain, uh, which is already just a funny way to describe something. Um, where softer sedimentary rocks and clay-rich soils have been extensively eroded by wind and water. And they are characterized by steep slopes, minimal vegetation. Yeah, this is crazy. It looks 3D, right? Like, it looks computer-generated. <laughs> yeah everyone just likes a bad boy and that's why they like the badlands everyone sees the badlands and is like oh look at that leather jacket wearing motorcycle riding uh landform yeah cryovolcano um uh, when i opened up the file earlier k uh it was at the bottom and i was i was shocked that we had put it there but i think we just did that for time um yeah, Stein. I, I've been I've been talking beaches this whole time. I I need people's opinion about it because I was taking points away for their ubiquitous nature. Like everyone knows what a beach is. So does that hurt their points? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're talking about where it was before we already talked about it. And <laughs> if so, forgive me. Um, what's a hoodoo? A hoodoo is a, a tall, thin spire of rock. That's really sick excited to get there okay so if we beaches are over okay i will i will take note yeah no i here let's wh what did i do with it um <laughs> we are so uh spastic sorry um we're gonna go back to 
No, we're not. We're going to just put power through. Badlands are cool. Certified cool. Within, I think this is what happened with pastry stream where once we got our like pillars of the uh, tier list, we then got more specific within the tiers. Beaches are fine. I'm from an island, so you're always going to see a beach if you drive far enough. Yeah, you're encapsulated. Um, right. And, like, that's another thing is that they're, like, beloved. Like, people love the beach. Culturally, like, beaches are very beloved. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it's... For some reason, I'm like, I want to take points away from it. But I, I don't really see a reason to. Like everyone loves these. It might be the it might be the number one landform. Like I think if you just poll people out there in the world, like it literally might be number one. So we're we can't count that out. There's a pastry uh analog here. I don't remember like a cinnamon roll, maybe, like a beloved a donut. I don't know. I completely agree, Claire. They're definitely tears within the beach landform. Yeah, yeah, and that's another thing we were talking about is like we have these shapes like a bay is so many different things. It also contains a beach. Um it's a little tricky, I think, like uh ontologically or whatever to break these apart. So a coat. I think this is one thing that I was going to say that gives beaches points in their favor is that a coast uh is so generic that it makes uh, the beach, which is like already a very generic landform, look more specific. And so I think what we can do for the purposes of the uh, list is rank coasts in our mid tier and then elevate beaches as like the like an ideal form of a coast. You know what I mean? Though some people might prefer a coast. I don't know. Yeah, I, Claire, I think you've landed where I was at. I think that's the logic I used to put beaches in mid. All right, we've gone full circle. I figured out what I would like to do. We are going to put coasts and beaches right next to each other at the top of the mid tier, and uh, we'll come back to them. We should also make some goals, right, uh, for this stream. Uh, it is 1020, gone for about an hour. Uh, yeah, I will... I think by the end of the stream, I want all the images that we have so far to be like pretty decidedly sorted between these three sections. I don't think that's very hard. I think we might be there soon. I don't know. Um, that way on Sunday, we can just pick back up. Uh, what do you think about crevasses and crevasse splays? Uh, <laughs> cuspate foreland. I think crevasses are cool. I'm going to elevate crevasses. And <laughs> cat's doing something over there. Um I feel like I need to remind myself what a crevasse play is. a sediment deposit this is like the the uh alluvial fans and stuff that we have at the very bottom of our list we have several landforms that are uh yeah just essentially just like weird sediment deposits and maybe we're being too hard on them uh yeah a crevasse has drama right a deep crack or fracture in an ice sheet or glacier. And then it's funny that it's different from a crevice, which is a crevasse that forms in rock, even though like the whole process is kind of the same. Like, look at this, that's drama. I think it's cool. I think it might be A tier. I think there's a lot going on with it. I th I, we're all sympathetic to the plight of the glacier. And I think that uh, even adjusting for the bias of <laughs> uh, 
that. I think it's still very cool. I think a, crev a crevasse splay is less cool. I think we're just gonna take the crevasse. We're gonna move her up. Are there any up here that you disagree with? Like, I think Cove and Bay have to come down. I don't know. I feel like they are cool. There's just, they're just so, uh, there's just so many of them, you know? They can look like so many things. It's okay to be second tier. It's gonna be okay. Bay, Cove, Coast, and Beach are all right next to each other until further notice. A butte. Really enjoy a good butte and a retz. And a toll. I like these all. Yeah, cryo volcano right there for you, Kay. Yeah, okay. I really was coming into this thinking it was going to be like impossible to rank these, but I think we're doing pretty good. This image is going to be enormous. Do we want these as posters? Like, what do you, what? What do you see this final image looking like? Someone said mouse pad one time, and I just have always loved that. Yeah, for sure. I think we have determined that, Stein. Greg said something earlier that was like, if it's a rare land form, and it also is unremarkable, uh, it loses points. Like, its obscurity is only relevant if it's also, uh, like, special in some factor. Yeah, <laughs> Mopus pad. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think mouse pad's pretty good. Um, I think Stein said a fat head at some point, which is really funny. Like one of those like you know, big sticker for your wall, uh, which is essentially a poster. But um, yeah, this is looking good. We're getting there. I will show you these ones down here. The Appalachian Cove is a valley. It is cool, now that I'm thinking about it. I think we were taking points away because it's like, man, I think my heart is changing on alluvial fans. I think abyssal fans can still stay down here just because they're, I don't know, not exciting particularly. Maybe these, oh, Equesta. Yeah, we like all of these. We just put these down here because we didn't know what to do. Oh, we have all these decisions to make now. I think channel can stay down. Not super excited about channels. A Cirque is interesting. This is, I think, one that it's maybe polarizing. Where, do you see where the, the, like, the snow is on this? That is the Cirque. Uh, it is a, like a circular depression in a like mountain range i don't remember how it forms um yeah i don't know we might have to go read on that so it's interesting yeah quest is so cool yeah 100 <laughs> percent. claire we're having the exact same exact same thing we're like damn all of these are really dope um yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, I think with pastries, it was easier to, just because it's food, and I think food is definitely more polarizing, you know, whereas, like, when you ask people, do you love the earth, like, generally people say yes, you know, um, it's easier to hate on certain kinds of pastries, to develop pastry opinions, uh, I think that's why I was drawn to the idea of ranking landforms is that there's so much less to argue about in terms of their beauty <laughs> because they're all beautiful. Um, so I think we should keep that in mind whenever we are uh, developing our theories of which one is more beautiful. Uh, like if we accept that it is difficult to 
rank the sublime nature of <laughs> the world's beauty. Uh, okay. I'm going to move the Cirque at least to B because I think it's interesting. Have we already moved to Questa? We got to go look at... We gotta, I really enjoyed the Questa Wikipedia page, so... I would love to link up with some geologists and make them some charts and stuff. Highways, that would be really cool. Rank them on taste. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I I agree with all of these. Um, I found a really cool... Oh, I'm not going to remember what it's called. It's called The Stack. Yeah. I was looking for this book called The Stack uh, and found this intersection in Phoenix. Um, <laughs> and it's just so gnarly here. Oh, I went full screen. Can you see that? Oh, this is a mess. Give me a sec. It's just so gnarly. Um... It's a four layer like exchange, I think is what they're called. Um, I can make this a highway stream. I, I don't care. I was thinking about making a, uh, I have this idea. I guess we can pitch it. I was thinking about replacing the coffee stream with a stream exclusively about uh, like rail systems and trains and then just like talking trains for like, I don't know, some hours, a <laughs> couple days a week. Because um, I, I think I'm going to have to stream Coffee Show less generally moving forward uh, just because I need to, like, get a job and stuff. Like, eventually, I'm going to have less time in the mornings. Um, so I've been trying to figure out what's the next step for this kind of show. Um, that's gnarly. Yeah, I was thinking about riding a train to uh, Texas uh, to see my family, which is a 24-hour trip. Um, so I think I, yeah, I also am checking. I think it's actually for me, not a good idea. Um, at least for now, but, um, yeah, trains rock. I don't know. Love them. And there's so many different rail systems here. Yeah. Let me take an aside and pitch this idea to you. Oh no. <laughs> we messed it all up. How are we doing? Okay. We're back on the rock. This is a great rock. I love this rock. I was wondering if it was a live video though, because it said it is. It says it's live, but then sometimes when it cuts, it seems like it's not. I need someone to stand on this and hold a newspaper. But uh, anyway, I wanted to pitch my train idea just to see what it's like, see what y'all think. Um, it's like if we go here and we just type in like, I don't know. India rail system. Very complicated, which were easier because I do like trains, but any connections? Yeah, for sure. I think anywhere outside of the East Coast. Um, have a good one, Cursed. You'll be good. Hope, hope it's a good appointment. You remember when that guy entered my apartment and took my air conditioning unit at the beginning of this show? That was so jarring. Um, but, uh, I mean, good to do. That guy's a good guy. Guy works here. But, um, okay, I'm lost. I need to figure out how to pitch this idea I have. It's clearly an undeveloped idea. But uh, we're going to get back to work because... Our time is short. We never finish anything, and it would be good to finish something. So, oh my god! Okay, great. We're back at it. We are going to continue ranking these. An Anna branch is uh, a river, like diversion, I guess is a good way to put it. I think it's cool. I think it's unique. I think we're going to put it right next to, where did we put the braided channel? Yeah. 
one of you was low on the braided channel and i i've decided i real, i love them uh they're beautiful look at it it's just so pretty i don't know i would i would be hard pressed to say that this was not just like incredibly sublime which i guess maybe one thing we could do is if a braided channel is kind of like the ultimate form of the reason Anna branch is cool. And then there's another one, the eight, where did we put the eight? A I T I think it's A I T E. I don't remember. It's around here somewhere. Did I banish it? I don't know what I did. Okay. We're all over the place. Cause we originally pulled up the web browser to talk about questas cause they're so cool. Uh, Anyway, I do feel like we need to go back and look at Questus. Um, that is extremely cool. So far, I think my favorites are the Carolina Bay and the Questa. And then also maybe a, uh, we'll make a little favorite zone. Yeah, Cenote and Caldera. Yeah, I was looking for these. Complex Crater, also very cool. I'm like legitimately surprised that our ranking system makes sense. I figured it was going to end up being pretty arbitrary and I guess ultimately it is, but uh, I think it's going to work. I think we can continue to do this and it makes sense. Appalachian Cove is at least B tier. It might be higher up because it's, do you want to take points away from a landform for being hard to like so large that it's hard to photograph? I think that's one of the appeals of the abyssal plane to me like the bottom of the ocean, <laughs> which we are representing with a black rectangle. Um, it's just so immense that it's, and same thing with the bayou where it's so amorphous uh, that it's, it's hard to tell where it begins and ends. And uh, it's like hard to define, but it's like, there, there's the eight. See to me, so an eight is an island in a river and uh, it's cool, but I think it is, I mean, I think it's at home in the middle, I guess. I think it's lower middle. For some reason, I'm low on it. I don't really know why. Uh, we're going to put it near the other river forms. The Anna Branch in the braided channel. Yeah. I think a dune is cool. There's like a dune system too, I think somewhere. Maybe we haven't gotten there. Maybe we stopped at dune. Um... I think that's right. I don't, we didn't get to the E's yet. We got through four letters. I mean, this is like the fourth stream. So at that rate, we will finish this in 22 episodes, which is insane. Uh, not great. Do we have opinions about cliffs, canyons, or bluffs? I think for some reason I want to keep them uh, B tier because they are everywhere. They're so, I mean, they're really beautiful. One of the most iconic landforms, some of the most iconic landforms. I don't know. Cliff and Canyon are better than Bluff. You heard it here first. Have you seen Bluffs? Hello. My cat's immediately hidden the cabinet whenever that guy came over. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to leave them all in B. I think the argument for cliff and canyon being like i don't know i'm like the green canyon like there's some canyons out there that are you know wondrous uh landforms but i don't know just more dynamic yeah for sure i i agree you're stuck to me i yeah 
<laughs> it's like the beach. Yeah, no, some of these have a cultural reference. Do you think the Abyssal Plain is worth uh, upgrading to A tier? I'm I'm torn. I'm torn because it's not, I don't know. It's such a, it's more abstract. It's hard to tell. We'll find. I don't remember what a Kalank is. Kalank. That's how you would say it in Texas. Sit on my lap. I'm being bothered right now by a cat. Um, I'm pretty confident in our. Yeah, lay down. Yeah. Um, pretty confident in our lower tier right now. I guess, well, we have another, what, what is that? Oh, there we go, never mind. I think an alluvial fan, I think we've been rude to it. I think it needs to be upgraded. I think, I think it's interesting. It has dynamics. It has like a, it's dynamic both laterally, uh, in all three dimensions actually. Um, length, width, and height, it's dynamic. It's a beautiful shape. It is an unusual occurrence in nature. Beach Ridge, maybe the lowest of the low. It is. But then, I mean, like, I'm trying to avoid falling into these, like, I don't know, like, philosophical like rabbit holes I guess is how I would describe it where you're like well maybe the beauty of a uh, hill on a beach is uh, I don't know more esoteric than it's like how photogenic it is I guess I think there's some kind of gesture like that to be made uh, and I keep getting stuck on it and so I'm trying to avoid that I think a cut bank is cool it's also just a really cool name um, it's not higher than B tier though. Cause it's just the stuff on the side of the river. It's like here, if we zoom in, it's, uh, this like sloping bank of the river, which it is cool. Just a little small time. I think I'm going to put Cape next to cliff. For some reason, I think Cape and cliff, uh, We'll put Cape, Cliff, and Beach next to each other for now because I think they all invoke the same kind of... Man, Cliff is really cool, though. I don't know. As I'm looking at the image, I'm like, damn, that is that is special. I'm doing this one-handed because uh, there's a cat on my other hand. It's the price you pay. Price of doing business. I'm, I, right now you're watching me. Oh, it's on another layer. Ugh. There we go. Just moving boxes around. Okay, I'm feeling really confident now about our system. I think eventually there will be more uh, tiers, exactly in the same way that uh, Pastry Stream kept expanding its tier list. I think Confluence is decidedly mid-tier. Is Confluence cooler than a dune? The thing about a dune, a dune is interesting because it is such an iconic shape and is formed in a very specific it, like it's interesting that they're all over the world and they all look the same just because of just like the geometry of how they're formed we did not okay what i want to do is once i get this all set i think on sunday we're going to spend some time finishing the pastry list because it's it, it's not we're not far away um 
And I guess I was going to do it today. I was going to like kind of get this short up and then spend some time on it. Uh, but I think what we're going to do just cause there's like not a lot of people in here and, uh, it's a beautiful day outside and I kind of want to get outside. Um, we're going to cut this kind of short. Um, but we've gotten a lot of good work done. This is also the first time I've streamed in, uh, a week and a half. And so I'm very happy to get back and I don't know, remember how to do this. I feel like I was kind of all over the place today. Um, but we did good. I think the work we did was good and the structure of the stream felt good. Yeah. I don't know. seems good. Sunday we will, uh, yeah, finish pastries and then get going with uh, the rest of it. I guess we can finally, like if we cut this into three sections, Good, thank you. Thank you for watching. This is the earliest I've gotten up in several days, which is uh, kind of funny. I don't know. Woke up at 9 a.m. and I was like, this is a success. We have, we have already won today. Okay, I... This is a good, good time to call it. Um, I'll see y'all Sunday. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> thank you, Kay. This is the first day in the past three days I haven't woken up feeling fatigued. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. I think it could be daylight savings also. Yeah, yeah. Y'all be good. <laughs> I'm going to log off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting out of here. Hope you do the same.